What makes this weed <laughs> My name is Jimmy Carey. I'm the owner of FL Lures and the main design specialist. Today we're here to talk about the ZJT weedless crankbait. It's Zach here again. So what we're going to be talking about now is the inside component of the um, ZJT FL Lures weedless crankbait. Now on the inside, it's made out of plastic hard body and what we've basically connected is um, we've inserted weights, a bill, as well as rattles. We have two rattles which um, basically attract the fish, the large ones bass because they are predators and they're basically going to be gaining in and zoning on this weedless crankbait. Now the lip that we have is going to be basically making a dive right around five feet or so into the depths of the water. Now let's say we're not fishing in maybe four feet, three feet of water. It's fine. It's not going to be running against the shore or the sand. That's perfect. And with the weight, that's basically, this is to be, be able to float, it's a hollow body. So with the weight, it's going to be zoning in, making it heavier in the front. So when you're reeling it in, the bill is going to catch onto the water and make it dive to your desired depth that we've created. Thank you, that's all I have. As a main member of the design team, how do you think this lure separates itself from all the other crankbaits here? Well, to start off, it is weedless crankbait, which is, in Florida we have a lot of vegetation along the shoreline which makes it rough for us anglers because fish love crankbaits. One of their main meals they'll have is bluegill, shiners, that's what they eat. And crankbaits basically simulate that motion and also that type of fish. And along the shore, they're gonna be hanging out, but with all the vegetation here in Florida, you're not gonna really get crankbait that with two trouble hooks hanging down. It's just gonna get caught up in the weeds. So what we came up with is we have the hooks embedded into the liquid latex gel that we created. And that's going to prevent it from getting caught as far as hooks. And as far as the bill, we have it angled so where it can just brush off easily and not get tangled in the top, which makes it perfect. Thank you, Jim. Hi, it's Zach here from FL Lures with the ZJT Weebles Crankbait. Today we're going to be discussing about the customized bill that we have on here, which is designed to make it weedless, as well as the uh, treble hooks, which are designed as well. So it's embedded into the liquid latex gel that we have formulated. Along with it, we got the eyes, we got the paint. Inside, we also have customized rattles, weights, and also accessories. All right, Jimmy. So now, after we're talking about the exterior lures, let's talk more about the interior lures. What do you have to say? The main thing we want to do is have it floating. So we have it buoyant, it will go down to the desired depth and not go any lower than that. With the liquid latex, we thought it would actually float even with the weight, but once water gets into the body, it does start to sink. So if we to change one thing, I would definitely seal up the body of the As we were talking about as the interior, this is an actual replica of the interior. So we have the main cone-shaped piece, which is going to be modeled on Inventor and printed on a 3D printer. So this is actually plastic, so no corrosion like wood or metal would cause. And then we have two slots, one for the beads and 
and that'll the rattle which will attract the fish, which is the noise. And then the next is the weight which will help it dive down. And then the main component is the bill. So we did hours of testing to find the correct depth and the correct angle for the depth. And here it is for our three to five foot depth. Alright, this is the ZJT weedless crankbait. The ZJT? Yeah. What's the T for? Thompson. Oh, wow. Yeah, two names in my name? Wow. <laughs> Zach, you, you sit on the bench like a normal person. Yeah, no, hang on. I'm going to fish. I'm going to turn around. 